Hi everyone, Jeff Cote here with VotingTechTalk.com. Love saying that, by the way. Wayne asks a question. He says, Jeff, can I wire the positive leads of my battery combiner? Uh, in this instance, he's talking about a Blue Seas ACR, which stands for Automatic Combiner Relay. It's still a battery combiner. To my battery combiner on-off switch to eliminate direct connections to the battery. If so, does it matter if the connections are on the hot side, i.e. Uh, the switch side, or the load side? Unswitch versus switch. All right, and he says he's seen multiple uh, different configurations. I know there are a lot of difference of opinions on the internet. Some of the voices that are the loudest are hard to ignore. But in this instance, and if you look at our schematics, and by the way, we have this conceptual diagram of a battery combiner on our website. Um, and you can geek out and there's a whole section on battery combiners. I've written and talked about battery combiners ad nauseum. I mean, I don't know how many hours just on battery combiner. My advice, 100%, if you don't want to have miracles or magic happen on your boat, is to definitely have the battery combiner always connected to the unswitched side, never to the switch side. Never on the loads, but always connected to the battery. Second, considering that an ACR or battery combiner needs a fuse, it gets challenging to have battery combiner connections on a battery switch. Not that it can't be done, but those connections have to be fused. The challenge is when we're not going all the way to the batteries, which are at either end, and we're going to the battery switch, if those connections also have fuses from the batteries to the battery switch, depending on the system, what happens is by reusing a wire for multiple purposes, if you lose, for example, one of the wires that's connected from the battery switch to the battery, you might not lose just that connection, but you also might lose your battery combiner connection. And that battery combiner connection might also be the only way for you to recharge the batteries. So in general, my advice is don't take shortcuts. Don't do that. Um, it's all about unintended consequences. Sometimes we do things, and you know what? It might be fine on your boat for 20, 30 years. But the challenge is, what happens when something goes wrong? Loads and charging circuits should never really use the same wires. They shouldn't, as much as possible. You want to make sure that all your charging circuits, which a battery combiner is effectively a way to share a charging voltage, should be completely separate from your loads. Because if you blow a fuse on a load side, you should still want your battery to get a charge on the battery combiner. Now, I know it's easy said and done, right? I'm making more work for you. It's gonna be harder. It's not as easy. It's gonna cost more money because you've got longer wires. It's gonna be painful. But you know what? A little bit of pain up front for no pain later is a good thing. And the reason why I know this is because I've seen a lot of people take those shortcuts and then we get called in to troubleshoot these problems that drive people crazy and that make a lot of people, unfortunately and sadly, leave boating. Why? Because it's just too freaking hard. And boating's hard enough as it is. Taking shortcuts with electrical, and not saying here that Wayne is doing that because he's asking the question, but taking shortcuts with electrical rarely pays off. And the only thing that it undoes, and the saddest thing, is that it undoes our own sort of trust in our boat. And it limits us from doing the things that we might want to do with the boat. Either just taking it out, bringing friends, bringing family, feeling safe, feeling confident. And I know it's hard. Boat ownership is not easy financially, emotionally. I get it. Totally get it. But with a battery combiner, bring those connections to the unswitched side of the battery, i.e. directly to the battery, or to a positive unswitched distribution that is completely separate from the loads. And I know it's tempting to go to switch because it's a shortcut. And yes, it does work, but don't do it. Don't do it. Great question from Wayne, and thanks for asking. And thanks for all of you for watching. And if you also have, by the way, comments on battery combiners and what you've done on your boat or what has not worked out for you on your boat, because not only do we learn from doing it right, but we also learn from doing it wrong. Share those stories with us uh, and let all of us be better boaters. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching this PYS video. If you've got further questions, please ask them below or send us an email via the contact forms on our website. Happy to donate my time to share information with you. You can support us in keeping this channel ad-free 
by purchasing some merchandise on our store or by making a donation on PayPal. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching.